This video explains how to view the results of completed tests, how to interpret the various results statistics, and how to export the results. The interface we show is that of the examiner, but the explanations of the different results views also apply to participant accounts. Completed tests are listed in the Tests tab of your account under Completed. Double-click a completed test to open it and view the results. You are first presented with a summary of the test results, showing you how the participants generally performed in the test. The results are organized so that you start with this top-level summary, then proceed to white blood cell classification statistics on a class level, on a cell level, and finally the red blood cell characterization statistics. Let's begin by taking a closer look at the summary view. The bar chart and infographics always relate to the currently selected slide. If the test contains more than one slide, you can switch between the slides by clicking them in the side panel. You can also combine the results from different slides by selecting all or multiple slides. Using the zoom and slider can be very useful if you have a large number of participants. The bar chart shows the average WBC and RBC agreement for each participant displayed as percentage values. The higher the agreement, the better a participant is considered to have performed in the test. You can sort the bars by percent agreement or by name. You can see participant names only if you are the examiner or have been given supervisor privileges. The infographics show you the total test participant number, average, as well as the highest and lowest agreement statistics. You can see all comments related to the test by clicking View All in the Comments section. By default, the examiner master classification is used as reference for the results. You can also use the majority classification result as the reference by selecting it in the side panel. Now that we have an overview of how the participants performed in this test, let's dig a little deeper and look at classification results at a cell class level. The bar chart shows us the classification results for the currently selected participant. You can switch between participants using the drop-down menu. Each bar indicates the total number of cells assigned to a class. The wider gray bar shows the reference results and the narrower bar the participant results. The blue area indicates the number of cells where the participant agreed with the reference and the orange part represents cells where there was a disagreement about the classification. To see the total number of cells, hover over a bar. Instead of focusing on one participant at a time, we can focus on a cell class and see how many cells each participant assigned to that class compared to the reference. You can switch between cell classes by using the drop-down menu. Looking at the result statistics at a cell class level gives us an idea of which cell classes cause the most issues among the participants. Next, let's discover which individual cells cause the most classification disagreements. We are now presented with individual cell images. The cell we see first is the one with the highest number of disagreements from the currently selected slide. Looking at the cell classifications below, we can see how this cell was classed. By clicking, the examiner can see which participants chose each correct and incorrect cell class for this cell. Other cells placed in this same class by the reference method are also shown as an aid. To go through all the cells, use the arrow buttons next to the cell. The cells are sorted so that the cells with the highest number of different classifications show first. If you want to focus on individual participants, click the Individual Participant tab. Let's compare the examiner classification with Billy's classification. In this view, you can see all cells that are classified into each cell class by either the participant or the reference. Color indicators shown in the legend indicate different types of disagreements between the participant and the reference. Let's look at the cells in the lymphocyte and monocyte classes that had disagreement. 
The orange highlight on this cell indicates a cell that Billy classified as a lymphocyte and that the examiner classified as a monocyte. We see this again in the monocyte classifications of both. In this case, the orange square indicates a cell that Billy should have classified as a monocyte, but instead classified as a lymphocyte. Of course, this is the same cell. By exploring the results at a cell level, you can identify what types of cells cause the most problems for classification. If the test contains slides with red blood cell images, you can click the RBC Characterization tab to see the RBC results. The table you see in the main view shows the examiner, majority, and participant characterization grades for the different morphologies. Cells with an orange background color indicate where the characterization differs from the reference. The stronger the orange color, the greater the deviation, and the more orange cells in the table in general, the greater the overall deviation from the reference characterization. You can also refer to and adjust the size of the RBC image as a reference. If you want to export the results, you can easily do so by clicking Export Results in the side panel and selecting which results to export to a CSV file. Click Export. Enter a name for the file and click Save. The results are saved as a standard CSV file, which you can open in a program such as Excel for further manipulation. Thanks for watching. You can find more information about this topic by clicking the help icon in the software.